The Anne Arundel Arts Council is truly the gateway to the arts. We really believe that Anne Arundel County is a leader in the arts and has such a diverse, wonderful array of arts organizations to really be a leader in the region. Yeah, the Anne Arundel County Arts Council plays a key role in exposing uh, the general population as well as uh, the youth of today to uh, the great activities of art. And we pride ourselves here as uh, being a leader in the arts here in the state of Maryland. The mission of the Arts Council is to support and invest in the performing, visual, and historic arts in Anne Arundel County. We are rich in the performing arts and very fortunate to include a symphony, an orchestra, a ballet, and a chorale, and much more. Venues in Anne Arundel County range from small to large. Opportunities for everyone to come and have functions in our county and perform and enjoy. Visual opportunities, we have museums and galleries. We are abundant in this county with fine art for our visitors and residents alike to enjoy. Historical arts provide a living history. We learn of our rich history in Maryland here in this county. We have so much to be proud of and our artifacts show it. We're the art center and we have a symphony, a ballet, an opera, and a chorale. And we have visual artists and resident artists and we teach over 5,000 students a year in different genres of art. But most of all, you can see world-class performances. Started with Michael Bolton, sell-out crowd, and extended to Martin Short, sell-out for that one, and the Indigo Girls. So the best in the country are here. And this year, we're going to end with the Annapolis Film Festival that brings world-class films. The support that the Arts Council provides for organizations comes in many different forms. We provide grants, granting opportunities with general operating grants, special projects, many grants, and much more. We provide opportunities for the individual artists. And finally, our workshops. Workshops provide opportunities for our teachers to learn and grow with arts integration, opportunities for our organizations to learn to write grants training for boards, and much more. These all support opportunities and growth for our vibrant arts community in Anne Arundel County. Chesapeake Arts Center is a diamond in the rough. We have dance classes. We have ceramic and clay classes. We have one of the largest kilns in the state of Maryland. We have a 120-seat black box theater. We have a 752-seat theater. We're right next to the PVA Magnet School at Brooklyn Park Middle, which we have a lot of their students come over here and we're just so, super excited because we're just set up to succeed and we're set up for the students to succeed here when they walk through the doors. Chesapeake Art Center was granted a strategic grant and we are able to use that money to affect 30 some children in the spring and it is just critical to have this funding and we're just thankful because it literally does change lives up here and we see it all the time and we're just excited to be a part of it. We are fortunate to include under our umbrella arts education, which provides a foundation for the children and a partnership with the school board. The Arts Council funding is very critical to the continuation of the growth of arts integration and the PBA program here at Brooklyn Park, but also around Anne Arundel County. Here at Brooklyn Park, we offer the Performing and Visual Arts Magnet Program, as well as arts integration through all of our classes, including math, science, language arts, and social studies. Here we offer classes in dance, visual arts, vocal music, instrumental music, including band and strings, as well as PBA creative writing and movement. Arts integration really does work. I see on a daily basis that our students are more creative. They're able to infuse their own abstract thinking into not only the arts, but into the other curricula areas as well. I see a level of perseverance where students um, can take the opportunity to um, really drill down and take their time to process information differently because they learn differently through the arts. To have that exposure for young people to find uh, their ability not only to perform in the arts but also to enjoy them enhances their lifestyle and makes them a fuller person. And I think the Arts Council's concentration in that area 
has benefited the citizens of Anne Arundel County significantly. The arts not only add a vibrancy to our community, they also provide a strong economic impact. The arts in our county last year provided over 1,500 full and part-time jobs. Collectively, the 36 organizations we supported have a collective budget of over $12 million. The State Arts Council has proven through a study that for every dollar spent, $3.12 comes back to our economy. Quite a significant impact for our economy through the arts. Everyone can play a role in supporting the arts in Anne Arundel County, whether you're an individual or a corporation or a group. We spend a lot of time getting to know all the different arts organizations. And our grantees are groups that we are intimately familiar with. We know what they're capable of. We know what a little bit more additional funding might do to help them reach that next level. And we can help you support organizations that will do a lot for the community. The Gateway to the Arts, Anne Arundel County. It is a premier location for the arts and we hope everyone would consider visiting here and all of our residents enjoying what we have to offer in this vibrant community. Please come to the Arts Council website to find out more about how you can partner with us today.